Citing sources in a speech is frankly one of the most complex issues in writing a speech. I'll try to break it down and give you some simple guidelines to know when and how to cite a source. The purpose of citing sources is twofold. One, to give credit where credit is due and thus avoid plagiarism. And two, to increase the credibility of your speech. Not just to increase your credibility, but to increase the credibility of your position. When it comes to what information requires a citation, common knowledge is often the general guideline. Unfortunately, what is common knowledge to one person can be new information to someone else. So you need to find a different way to decide. One test is fact versus idea. If it's a verifiable fact that is easily accessible like dates or historical events, you don't need to provide a source. However, if it's an idea or something someone said or a statistic, you will need to cite it. For example, you don't need to cite a source when you say the dates for the years President Reagan was in office, or when talking about the Battle of Bunker Hill. But you should give a source when you say that 1.77 million students were homeschooled in 2012, which, by the way, is from a study conducted by the National Household Education Survey Program. You should also cite anything that makes a factual claim that isn't easily verifiable, or anything that advocates for a specific philosophy or policy, like saying homeschoolers are smarter than public schoolers, or if everyone gave $1, we could solve homelessness issues in America. Such large claims like those should be supported by some sort of expert in the field. While fact versus idea may work some of the time, there may be other criteria depending on the context. When it comes to how to cite, it really depends on the source. Most citations should include at the very least the date of publication, name of the source, for example, the New York Times or Journal of Applied Communication, and the author, if one is available. Feel free to cite as much additional information as you need to give your argument the most credibility. Sometimes you will get a lot of information from a single source. In those cases, I don't think it's a good practice to say something like, all of my information was taken from this book by so-and-so. In fact, some leagues don't consider this an adequate citation at all. Instead, cite the book fully the first time you reference any of that content. Then, the next time you state something you learned from that book, feel free to give a mini version of the citation. Or even just say, so-and-so also suggests. You can do this as many times as you need to in order to give credit to the author's ideas. It is important that you give due diligence in citing all the information you can on your topic. There are times, especially in internet research, when the who or when is not available, and that's okay. But it's important that you spend more than 10 seconds trying to find that information. Give it the effort it deserves. If you are giving a speech for a competition, make sure you consult the rules for that contest. Some organizations have specific requirements for citing sources. Before I conclude this topic, I want to give you something to consider. A speech is not a recitation of things you've read. It's an argument or a presentation of a series of things you want the audience to know. Use citations to support what you want to say and to lend credibility to your ideas. If you cite too much, it indicates a lack of argument structure and original thinking. An audience wants to hear what you have to say, supported by high-quality research, not just a series of statements that you got from somewhere else. So let's review. The purpose of citing sources is to give credit where credit is due and to add credibility to your speech. When deciding if you should cite something or not, consider if it's a fact or an idea. Always provide at least the date, source, and author of the information. And remember, a speech is, as a whole, your ideas. Use citations and research to support what you want to say, not the other way around. Citing sources is a complex issue, and there are many different philosophies about how and when to do it. What I've given you here is not the end-all be-all, and some of these ideas are even up for debate. But these are the principles you should consider when citing your sources.